Hello, traders. Yuri Wagner here. It is approximately 10.30 in Honolulu, Hawaii. It is the first day of August, Monday, and this is the Daily Report for Gold. After a long weekend and reaching what they're calling an 11th hour agreement, we have the House's going to vote today to pass a compromise bill. We currently have gold trading at about 1620. It's definitely off on the day, but certainly not at its lows of the day. And we'll take a look at that in detail through the report. The key is this, as this new bill gets digested, of course, it does raise the deficit ceiling to allow bills to be paid but there's a lot of chatter on both sides that this bill really isn't accomplishing what it set out for and on the other side we get a lot of chatter how nobody's broken a promise but that's politics and this is the commodities markets I want to start by looking at a 240 minute Hankin chart just to show you the kind of real consolidation we've had in the market in terms of having a marketplace which is trading in a narrowly defined band that's this band here quite easily to identify a strong level of support last week's 1602 did hold we have had a series of lows but as you can see these lows have been higher lows this last low we got was above 1610 this just below 1610 call it 1608 so we are seeing a series of higher lows we are also seeing a series of higher highs now this is on our short-term chart but you can see these new highs that were made for new records in the market that are well above 1630 the sentiment out in the public is uncertainty still the bill has not been passed my question is with the bill I believe virtually guaranteed to pass because as I said this weekend and I as I've talked about really all week and last week I, to me they were simply p playing chicken in that they will take it to the 11th hour to get everything they can and to use the best of their negotiating skills that being said I believe that the package that's come out although I haven't been able to digest it as most Americans have I believe is going to be quite full of holes on both sides in terms of desires and need that is the reason I believe a the market has really held pretty stable we haven't seen a, a major dip in the market that knee-jerk reaction that was definitely possible we are seeing higher highs we are seeing lower lows but I think it's the consolidation and this narrow band is telling us that we have a wait and see attitude now in terms of looking at it on a straight daily chart as you can see here we do have a pattern that in a standard traditional market and what I mean by that is one that wasn't a 24-hour market the spot market in which we fix the price at a certain time like London and AM and a PM fix this would be what's known as an inside trading day or a bearish Harami a bearish Harami in terms of straight reversal patterns is one of the weaker reversal patterns rules of engagement so to speak on that it must come in after a defined uptrend we meet that criteria inside trading day you simply have a close in the bearish rami that's above the open of the prior day and a open that's below but of course you have that fix that's why i'm saying it's as close as it can get a dark cloud cover would have to open above in the case of uh spot market open at and then close at the midpoint or below so it almost might meet that criteria but these would be considered very weak because the size of this inside trading day is showing uncertainty rather than showing the bearish faction having domination in the market they are certainly certainly pushing the market down but i think that given the fact that the vote is going on there it's really been highly publicized the 11th hour decision has been made and this is the best the bears can accomplish to me is incredibly bullish for the market now that could all change when the law passes as the votes go out today remember they've only got till tomorrow so action must be done today and as i said they're not going to in my opinion 
not pass some sort of a compromise. But there is a glitch in the wheels, so to speak, and that is that even though this has come to a vote, the fact that it has not been passed does not change the threat right now for the downgrading of our U.S. credit rating. And that, to me, is a tremendously negative statement on the U.S. dollar, a tremendously bullish statement on gold. And I think there you're getting the push-pull. If we look at the weekly, of course, it's the first day of the week, so you just are seeing the same thing you would see as a daily candle up against the weekly candle. So we have really, the, this candle has far from formed, but as you can see, it is red now, but we have the entire week to make it up. If this market recovers and goes back to these recent highs here, these all-time highs, you will get that candle turning green. So I'm not gonna give too much credence to that. And the last chart that I really wanna look at for the day is going to be, it's in Henkin format, the daily chart, and even though it's a down day, as you can see, what's happened is we now have these wicks on both the upper and lower parts of this candle. We're not so concerned when we look at a Henkin chart. This is a daily average chart of the wicks on the top, as you can see the strong, strong move, but that just means it comes off of the highs a little bit. The key here is how it opens in relation to that average that it compares to the prior day. And when it does that, when it does that, as you can see, in terms of our daily chart, we're still green. Now, we obviously have a position, very good position, at 16, excuse me, 1547. We have moved our stops up to 1590. There are a couple of strategies that you might want to play for very conservative traders that actually took on the additional positions or position. You could, in fact, go ahead and pull profits up here in the 1620 area, assuming that you might get a further dip once that bill is passed. The other strategy you could implore would be to tighten the stop up however if you are going to tighten a stop my recommendation is to go no higher than 1598 you've still got a 1602 it could easily dip below but as i said for very conservative traders that want to that are more concerned about maintaining this profit because we have very nice profits on this position where your concern is more uh maintaining and and holding these profits than being able to capture more off this trade, you might want to go that route. For more aggressive traders, we would look to simply hold the positions that we have. In terms of trailing a stop up, you could go 1595, but we're already at 1590. I would be satisfied there. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading, and we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye bye. When I look out my window